T5 career mode let's play as a boxer slash brawler. At the end of the last episode, we ended up fighting Conor McGregor, ended up winning. It was a crazy fight. And now we're about to head into our next fight with Renato Carnero, who I believe is the ninth ranked fighter in the UFC in the lightweight division, um, at least on the game he is. So let's go ahead and advance over to our fight and see how we do. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is... You ready to fight? Ready. Boy, great to have everybody with us as we get round one going. <laughs> to the feet now. Oh, big hook. That'll spin. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just... Oh, he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Oh, big left. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh! Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. It's select one that's going to get us a lot of money. Um, that one's pretty easy. Let's do that. Six spots in rank. Michael Chandler. It's a good fight. We'll do a three week training camp. Can't wait till we get full punching power. Getting closer. Go to next week.
Probably not the best idea to only do three weeks because then we're only getting like one week of uh, evolution points. <laughs> it's kind of screwing us over. Okay. Michael Chandler got hurt. We got another fighter. Who's our backup? Nope. Doesn't say who the replacement is. This empty slot. Um, but we don't have any EV points though. So kind of screwed at the moment. Let's get some sparring in. Just power on the bag now. Listen to my call outs. That's how we work. This is when we put it all together. Great job. Really impressed with your performance today. Great job. Remember, repetition is key and it always pays off. So let's go. I don't know why I can't do this one. Square, square, triangle, trigger, or L1. Let me try this again. Square, square, triangle, L1. There we go. Nice. That's how you hit some leather. Just power on the bag now. Listen to my call outs. Oh, damn it. I could have simulated it, but I didn't. Quit out real quick. Oh man, he gave up the points. Darn it. All right, let's see who our last minute replacement is. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Anthony Pettis. What? Here is Bruce Buffett. It's not even in the UFC anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. You ready to fight? Ready. Are right, ready to go for round one, and it's hard not to hook him back to his last appearance. A huge knockout victory for him that set up this particular showcase here tonight. Can he keep the momentum going and register another knockout? His fan base is swelling. Oh, oh. Oh. Miss with the flying knee. What a fantastic strike oh. to throw at the it's exact dangerous. right moment. He deserves this moment. Oh. And this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight ending intentions. 
Alright, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, this kickboxer is a layered striker, and look at that, he is out to prove it early. A beautiful body kick, and on the other side... Man! Back to his feet. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like... Oh! Oh, my God! I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. Here's Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hall. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. That dude threw so many knees. That was, that was an interesting fight. I know we got to be close to that title fight too. Now we got Michael Chandler. There we go. Let's do let's do four weeks so that we get two weeks of sparring or hitting the bag rather. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. In the next episode, we're taking on Michael Chandler, and we got to be a few fights away from our title shot. So we'll see if that happens in the next episode. Catch you all in the next one very soon.